Hello everybody, welcome back to Dylan, welcome to Jim Will Shave. As you can see from the uh, thumbnail, head shave day. Now, as you know, I don't upload many head shaves to YouTube, because uh, there's not that many head shavers, but there is some. So that's why I make it quite clear on the thumbnail, it's head shave, so if you're a facial shaver and you're not interested, you're not going to waste your time opening the uh, video. But you might want to see this Matty Lindome soap. I've been after some for a while. And uh, Gordon Christie, he's a very generous enabler. If you've never heard of him, check out his channel. Gordon Christie, that's the name of his channel. Very simple, Gordon Christie on YouTube. If I think on, a link can be up below, but I'm not that good at linking, because uh, <laughs> that's why I don't link a lot. Plus, uh, plus some more sales, and that's another reason for not linking a lot. So today, I'm going to be using my uh, Trusty head shaver, this is my uh, most used razor in the den, at least every other day for dome shaves. In there, I've got the Aura Max. Now these are Japanese steel, platinum coated, very sharp, very smooth. I also have uh, some for head, sha head shaving, face shaving, uh, complete blades. These are half blades because they were sent to me as part of a present with a, a chevette. That's why I've got the half blades. So I'm putting them to good use. The soap today is the uh, Matty Lindum from Sweden. Um, this is the orange scent. Now if you check up Matty Lindum's channel, he's just done something quite amazing. He's, uh, he's quite a, a clever, talented guy. I think he's an engineer. Makes his own soaps, turns his own bushes. Uh, has some fantastic uh, button turned handles, but he's I think he's blowing everybody's socks off uh, lately because he's just uh, <laughs> made his own DE razor, which is uh, modeled on a, a vintage razor. But he's uh, just recently done a video where he's using the said razor and it's uh, very good. He's got a little bit of uh, touch ups to do, a few nicks to iron out, but as it is, it seems to be uh, shaving tremendously. So I'm sure once he's ironed out, done his little bit of snagging, he's gonna have himself a, a superb homemade razor. So right, so here's the soap, orange ingredients. I'll just quickly read them out to you, and it won't take long because Matty keeps his soaps nice and simple. Soy wax, coconut oil, shea butter, water, essential oils. And that's it. It's very mildly scented. There's the orange. It's uh, nowhere near as uh, strong as his, uh, is it Black Asia? Black Asia Pepper. I think that's the name of the other soap that's uh, Gordon scents. But this is it. Very lightly scented. And I'm going to use this like a shave stick. So, as you can see, it feels very oily at the moment. It's uh, You can tell it's going to be a good slick soap. So I'll just get that on the door. Of course, no need for a pre-shave when lathering in this fashion. Okay, I shall see how that lathers. Let's pop the soap down there and tell in the hand straight away. As slick as, it's like Sticking your hand into a box of slippery eels, it really is. I'm using quite hot water today. I, often when I shave, I shave in cold water or lukewarm water. But when using the leaf, I like to go for quite quite hot. Just uh, helps. Wow. It just helps in uh, clearing the razor, Jordan Rinson, between the blades there. Not that I've ever suffer the blockage and look at this soap fellas but sorry not fellas I should say uh, ladies and gentlemen now because uh, it's free lady subscribers and Goldilocks how are you doing Goldilocks Baldilocks not Goldilocks Baldilocks she's uh, a fellow head shaver a lady head shaver and she's just done a video using the uh, head blade so if you're interested in that, 
go along, search for Goldilocks on YouTube. Now, Baldilocks, now, there is quite a few Baldilocks on YouTube, but uh, if you go onto the main search, I think she's second or third down, so she's up there towards the top. And this soap is doing a cra cracking job here. You know, it's uh, the Argo shaving stick, stuff like that. You apply a little soap to the skin, but uh, this is definitely outperforming them. As you see, it's just a little application of soap. And this is the lava I'm getting. <laughs> Wasn't expecting this much to be honest, but uh, it's going to take a fair bit of water yet. So, when lava in the dawn, I like to keep the lava on the wet side of things, just as in straight razor shaving. I've, I've done more than dip the tips there, I've dipped like three quarters of the brush. Brush of course my usual head shaving brush or head lathering brush I should really say. It's my 30mm uh, tuxedo Yaki. My favourite. I love big brushes for head lathering. Oh, makes sense doesn't it? Got a fucking big head. <laughs> That's nice and shiny. So, a lot more lava there than I, an I anticipated. So, uh, yeah, my tilling those soaps. Good. Still taking quite a bit of water on board. As you can see, it's just starting to go transparent now. So that's when I know I'm nearly there. When you start to see through the lava, I'm happy. So I've got quite a lot of lava left in the brush there, so uh, this is going to be successful. These blades in the leaf, currently in the leaf, I think I'm on my second usage of them. I've been new to head shaving, dome shaving. Look at all that. Wow. It's just running on my back. If you're new to uh, dome shaving, remember to jeez, remember to include the neck. You don't want a dry neck, obviously. Likewise, remember to shave down the back of the neck, otherwise you'll look like you just uh, escaped from somewhere. And some men in white coats are likely to come and pick you up. Okay, let's crack on. Got the usual, just went over something then, I think I've got a spot, I felt something. Got the usual two days growth here. Again, treating the leaf razor with the utmost respect. These are DE blades, not cartridge blades. Sort of a damn size sharper. around the corners of the head here. Take the strokes a little shorter because it is a tricky part of the dome. I see all my scarring up there. It's a danger zone for me because it's all grey scarring. Goes back years ago when I was uh, attacked with a hammer. So those scars didn't heal flat. So they're raised. So a little cheat here, I'm just wetting the head of the razor and that's rehydrating the residual slickness for me. Spots of blood there. Head shaving. Yeah. Often do get the odd spot of blood, you know. Indentations in the skull, paying particular attention to them. Otherwise the head of the leaf will just go floating all there. And not shave. Pull those ear flaps out of the way. The leaf, it can catch your earlobes. I have uh, 
add the odd cut, not off the blades, just off the head itself. Stretch up, get those stubborn buggers from there. Little deer flap there. Going down the neck. It's important to keep your head tilted forward as much as possible. That way it irons out the creases in the back of the neck and there's less chance of the blade catching your skin. Yeah, I thought I felt something go there before. But that's the pedals of Don Jagan. Think nine times out of ten on a, a Don Jagan, but there's always a slight spot of blood of some sort. Just been chatting with a, a recent subscriber. I won't mention him in case he doesn't want me to mention this, but it uh, seems like during our younger years we were both plagued with the old acne, you know, and uh, well, I still am plagued by it, and we both still seem to carry the scars, like the pockmarked skin and things like that, and yeah, it's, it can play havoc, really can. Thank you once again for all the uh, recent subscribers. I've had uh, a sort of a sudden flurry. It's been uh, it's been amazing. Thank you. That's why I'm still here doing this. Again, I think I felt something on the surface there. Go quite slow towards the end of the uh, show, so I have all this clicking noise. So keep that clicking down to a minimum, so I don't annoy you. And I don't annoy myself. But I'm not far off BBS, really. It's just off one pass. From the nape of the neck. Out towards the ears, let's pick it up against the grain for me. And I'm just going off the residual slipness there at the moment. I will lather it up again because it'd be daft not to, wouldn't it? Why have all this lava and uh, not use it? Well, I can feel with the blades now exactly where I need to uh, pay attention. Quick roll round. Okay, it's nearly there, not a lot to do at all. <sighs> ice cream, ice cream anybody? <laughs> nice lava, nice soap. If there was more orange scents, maybe that it would be perfect. Because it's not as orangey as I expected but I'm shaving the dome does it matter nice and creamy don't worry about cushion on the dome all you want is slick you want it like an ice ring up there It's like CDB says, at the end of the day, what is cushion anyway? It's not such a thing, really, is it? Because <laughs> if you had too much cushion, that blade wouldn't go anywhere near the surface of the skin. Right. Maybe it's a Marcus employee. So, in the opposite direction now. Yeah. I think these blades are definitely on the uh no I think must be four few spot of feel I'm getting there. It is offering a little bit of resistance. 
I think I've got a growth there or something I've got to be careful of. Just felt, <laughs> I just felt it under the blade. Blades, I've got three blades in here. You can get away with one, two, but, ooh, I didn't like that. You can get away with one or two blades, but why? I knew there was something there. Why, when I've got the, uh, the means to take three? That must have been a scab on a little spot there that I've opened up on my uh, last shave. Well, probably the last few shaves, because to be honest, you, you catch them so much, much it's uh, it's quite tricky for them to heal. One of the drawbacks of shaving the old dome, if you do decap a spot or receive a bad cut, Oh, it's it's just so easy to catch it again. As I say, a BE blade, you know, they're not. Uh, it's not like shaving with a bick or a cartridge. I think the very first time I shaved the dome was with uh, a bick to tell you the truth, a long time ago. And I remember the, res the resistance that it did give me. Okay, up from the base of the neck to the crown. Move your blades are getting anywhere near blunt. This is this is where you feel it. I've had a good response to my uh, last video where I'm doing a, a budget shave using the palm olive, and it's, it's got me thinking. You know, a lot of people who search YouTube they're actually on here because I, I either I'm thinking of taking up traditional wet shaving or dome shaving whatever and they, they come on to see YouTube to uh, see how people do it I mean they don't always want to see the most expensive soaps and the most expensive gear. I mean, I'm sure some people must be horrified when they first go onto YouTube and they see you uh, shaving with a razor that costs five thousand pounds or something. <laughs> a little bit of an exaggeration there, but yeah. Now you see how wet that lava was and bone dry around there now. Yep, sharpest blade you can find, that's the key when using this razor. So uh, I think these are definitely dulled. Bone in the bin. Because I'm having a bit, wee bit of a battle here. It's not coming off as easy as it should do. This goes my tight house. Should have checked. <laughs> Should have changed the blades. It's better. Just a little touch up here. And that's got it. I'll just go out from the nape towards the ear on this side. Yep, that's got it. Right, quick rinse. And I'll be back up. You know if you've had uh, a bad shave 
on the dome when it comes to rinsing off because you could have cut yourself at the back of the neck and not knowing it but you rinse off and you get the little red waterfalls running down here or there or there <laughs> but on this occasion I've not done bad at all so there we have it don't shave reactivating the Bluetooth before I go right so that was a dome shave razor it was the leaf lots of people are asking questions about the, the leaf at the moment uh, a lot of people are considering it and it is worth considering if you're a regular head shaver blades in there for the Aura Max right way up Japanese steel platinum coated brush 30mm tuxedo There's still tons of lava left in there look and uh, the soap is the Matty Lindum Lindum of Sweden his own handmade soap and I just put something on it ah I put the aqua velvet on I haven't used this for a bit this will sterilise things keep the scalp sweet Good helping. Oh, we've got a sting. Oh, have we just? I love the sting. It makes you know you're alive, doesn't it? Okay, so thanks very much for watching. All you head shavers, maybe some of you uh, face shavers. Go on, what are you doing? Enjoy the rest of your week. Take care, stay safe, have some great shaves, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers guys, bye bye.